<laughs> we will soon release the hounds. We indeed uh, have a, a dog a real life in hound. Stu is she shy? is she camera shy on the side? Apparently. Oh wait, now here she comes again. She's like, uh -oh. wait, I'm off cam. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, I'm on cam. No, I gotta go. Bye. All right, we're gonna have more on <laughs> National Puppy Day still to come here on the show tonight. Love to see your pictures. Use the hashtag WUTV, and we'll have it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> there she comes. <laughs> We got plenty of puppy to I come. Can't, I can't do that with Joplin. She's just no, a little, she's a little, she's too, a little big. too heavy. A little right. too big. All right, so we're going to talk about National Puppy Day coming up yep. with little Riley yep. here and also talk about the areas in the cross here. Thunderstorms. I want to start, though, in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, you've got the wind right now and, of course, thunderstorms in the cards for you as we go through the evening. Now we take you to Dallas where it's morning thunderstorms into your Friday. So you're getting the kids ready for school. Maybe drive them to the bus stop. Wait for the bus to pick them up because you don't want the kids standing out there at the bus stop with thunder storms in the area it could also slow down your morning drive. Kansas City, you've got afternoon thunderstorms, but early afternoon. Also the chance early Saturday morning. So one, three, five o'clock in the morning for some of those thunderstorms. Little Rock, Arkansas tomorrow into Saturday. You're going to be seeing the thunderstorms. So there's tomorrow late day thunderstorms again, 5 a.m. Some thunderstorms. So uh, Jackson, Mississippi, you're another location with the chance of some early morning thunderstorms. So this is Saturday into Sunday early Sunday morning. We've got 4 a.m., 8 a.m. thunderstorms possibility, and then, Mike, that will continue into the afternoon and evening. It doesn't stop there. No, it now does we not. we've got to talk about the round that comes yep. after it comes to severe weather, especially tornadoes. Uh, but this is a weekend where you can't just be laissez-faire right. about the weather. Know what's coming your way. Yeah, a lot of people I know like to go off the grid on the weekend, and I, yeah. I get it. You know, you sure. want to disconnect. You don't want to have the cell phone and everything on, but uh, you need it. We've got the chance of thunderstorms in a place like Oklahoma City coming later Sunday, so it's going to be afternoon, evening, really into the overnight. Memphis, the thunderstorms out there for your Monday. Showers early Monday night, so Mike, Sunday is going to be the day we've got to watch places like Dallas, like Oklahoma City, but it's going to be post sunset, I think, for the best chance. What do we get? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, an intense night of winds and then the thunderstorms uh, contributing to, in that case, some even gustier ones. The severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas as we go into the evening. That expires 10 o'clock local time. And you notice we have a couple of thunderstorm warnings out there just outside of Amarillo, then near between Guyman and just uh, west of Dodge City. Primarily wind and hail be your threats here. We do have some lightning in there as well. That's a danger tonight mm -hmm. because we get some lightning strikes strikes in some areas where we've had some dry brush. It could, could cause some fire. We actually have extreme fire danger right now to go with the thunderstorms. Right. We're going to talk a little bit more in depth about that in just a moment. Uh, but uh, this evening, there's your severe threat right along uh, what is the dry line, right in that zone of high wind today as well, and also the fire threat. But Lubbock to Amarillo to Dodge City to North Platte. All right. So we've got a threat for us this evening. We've got a threat that goes through tomorrow. Let's show you three-dimensionally, oh, say a city like Tulsa. And what's coming your way, okay? Now, we talk about slim, okay? What that is a shipping force here in Tulsa because the timing is very interesting, Alex. Yeah, the timing is actually going to include the morning hours, which, as we've been saying, isn't necessarily what always comes to mind when you think of the right. greatest uh, severe danger time of day done by six o'clock. I think if you ask somebody what's the best time for severe weather, they'd say six, but Tulsa all before that tomorrow. We'll talk more about the storms through the weekend.